welcome along today to what is a significant milestone in terms of improvement to the public transport network here in Melbourne. Uh, the arrival of the last of the seven trains that we ordered when we came to government, the extrapolis train behind us, and of course we've ordered a further eight of these trains to come onto the network. The community, I hope, would start to notice that load breaches are coming down. Each time we introduce new trains to the network, we have the opportunity to roll those trains out across the, uh, the network and to deal with areas where we know there are hotspots in terms of load breaches. Uh, today's uh, media announcement also in relation to uh, load breaches coming down on trams once again I think is uh, a tribute to the great work that Public Transport Victoria, the new statutory authority have done in better aligning the, the timetables, uh, better use of the assets that we have and a far better application of where trains run, when they run and where they're needed. I believe that the, the work that they are doing is starting to show tremendous benefits. As of course we all realise every train needs a driver. Uh, when Metro took over the contract there were less than 800 drivers uh, on the network. Today we have 866 drivers on the network and there are 78 uh, trainee drivers in training at the moment to join the ranks of train drivers. Once again this will improve the issue of reliability on the network to make sure that we have drivers available when we need them. It's one thing to have the trains, the other issue then is to complement them with the drivers. The training used to be 73 weeks before we could get people, the drivers actually driving trains in passenger service. Now it's down to 38 weeks because we did put a phasing in place so that we train the drivers on nine lines, not the full 15, and on two types of rolling stock, not all four. And that means that we can get drivers driving within 38 weeks. Uh, we started training in March, so it's about three months, three and a bit. Um, it's very full on, uh, a lot to take in, but uh, it's good fun. First we've got to learn all the safe working systems, so you know, how we can drive in the different areas, um, all the signals obviously, uh, pretty safety important. Around the end of the year uh, we go out on a sort of restricted program, we, we only drive two of the trains on half the network. Uh, do that for about six months I think and then uh, go back in, learn the other half of the network and the other train and then we're fully qualified.